life is transient in view of death. Whatever man does, it all comes to nothing at death. Men work hard and scheme and fight to amass huge fortunes. They die and their bodies go into a box in the ground. What was the point of all their phonetic activity? Pastor Todd here with a devotion for March 24th. Since you cannot escape death, you should not live as if you could. A legend tells about a Baghdad merchant who asked his servant to run an errand. While at the marketplace, the servant rounded a corner and came face to face with Lady Death. He was so frightened, he ran back to tell his master, I'm terrified, he said. I want to take the fastest horse and ride towards Samara. The master granted the request. Later that day, the merchant himself went to the marketplace, and he too saw Lady Death. Why did you startle my servant? He confronted her. Lady Death replied, Frankly, it was I who was startled. I couldn't understand why your servant was in Baghdad, because I have an appointment with him tonight in Samara. None of us can escape that appointment. Maybe you're thinking, I know death is certain, but I'm young. I'd rather not think about it. I still have plenty of time. But death is not only certain, it is also unexpected. You don't know whether you will be alive at this time tomorrow, let alone next year's day. I read about a Scottish pastor who was burdened for the soul of a businessman who occasionally attended his church. The man readily admitted he was not born again. Whenever the pastor would try to talk to him about his soul, the man would reply that as long as he was in good health, he could wait. Besides, he was just too busy to think about such matters. So one day, the pastor decided to startle man into realizing that he couldn't afford to keep dodging the matter of where he would spend eternity. He walked into the man's office without knocking or calling in advance. When the startled man looked up, the pastor asked abruptly, Did you expect me? No, I did not, the man replied. The pastor then said grimly, What if I had been death? Then he spun around and walked out. The haunting question kept echoing in the ears of the businessman. It demanded an answer. By the end of the day, he had trusted Jesus Christ as his Savior and Lord.